How is it going, everybody? Welcome to week one of my new, improved Jacksonville Jaguars Madden 25 franchise series. This week, we're going to be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. But first, before we get into the game, I want to show you my new roster, or well, the roster that I kind of tweaked with, and some of the changes that I made preseason to get you guys up to speed if you did not catch my preseason video. I made a lot of trades to get early draft picks, and if you if you did not catch what happened preseason, I'm pretty much going to go into rebuilding mode for this franchise. Uh, I dumped the other series. I wasn't didn't really feel it. Um, I wasn't proud of it. wasn't having fun with it. So decided to come out with something fresh and new. And I want to get up to speed and uh, make some franchise videos actually have fun making. But as you see here, I'm just going through my roster with the moves that I made. I, I, I uh, signed some new players. I traded a bunch of players away. Most noticeably, Maurice Jones Drew got a couple picks for him and traded a couple picks. He got some later picks and ended up trading them for higher picks. Traded those higher picks for first round picks. So I think as of right now, I have three or four first round picks that I'll have in the draft. It's going to be fun. I love drafting. I love doing that kind of stuff. It makes it really realistic for me and for the viewer. And I love doing that. That's what I enjoy doing. And um, I, But I go in and I'm going to expect to win each and every game. I'm definitely not going to tank the season. Uh, I'll use those for the other teams that I hope they tank the season so I can have their high draft pick. I forget which picks I traded. I know I have multiple first round picks, which would be very helpful. But as you see, my starting quarterback is going to be Graham Harrell for, for one year. I expect to go into this draft and get a quarterback. So have Graham Harrell to split uh, this is one year with to kind of fill in and to... Um, to really use just this one year as a gap year between now and the next quarterback that I draft. And I also have Matt Scott, the quarterback that Jaguars drafted last year, just in case Graham Hill starts to play horrible. So I'm really going to play the quarterback with a hot hand. And you can't forget, you have Ricky Stanzi sitting there in the third slot. So if he ever, if, if those two quarterbacks really struggle, I have somebody waiting in the wings to, to help out. But that's just about it, guys. Hopefully we can come out with a win week one. And hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys after the intro. week always gives off a special feeling so there's no question everybody's excited for this game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Jacksonville Jaguars here at Everbank Field. Hello friends Jim Nance along with Phil Sims and Phil it's the start of a whole new season there's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope and how do you feel about getting this season underway? Ah, uh, Jim, this is like Christmas, man. I go down there, I open up a present. I have no idea what's inside that box, and that's what the coaches are thinking. Welcome to the opening kickoff as the Jacksonville Jaguars season is about to be underway. As slot receiver A. Sanders is back to receive, he brings it back all the way to about the 25-yard line. As newly acquired, Graham Harrell is set to start the season as the starting quarterback for the Jaguars. Here we go on a second and 10. Graham Harrell drops back, looking over the field, scanning. And he has an open A. Sanders who makes a move upfield down to the 40-yard line. A nice 13-yard reception to have the first first down of the season for the Jaguars. Second and eight here. Out of the pistol set, Graham Harrell looks out the play action. He has another wide open Cecil Short who looks to be a big part of his offense this season. Nice 22-yard reception there. Another second and eight. Full wide receiver set. Two on each side. Kendall Hunter in the backfield. Graham Harrell looks. And he has Cecil Shorts open again. A kind of high pass from Graham Harrell, but Shorts goes up there and makes the snag for a first down for the Jacksonville Jaguars. First and 10 here. Handoff up the middle. Cut across the field is Kendall Hunter for the first down. Or actually, he's a yard short. My fault. Uh, we get a first down on the next play, but here we go. Third and five. We're going to try to score a touchdown this first drive of the season. And he looks... He looks, nobody open, Graham Harrell, all the time in the world. He's, he's scrambling to the outside, and he has an open receiver, and it's dropped by A. Sanders. That would have been an amazing touchdown for the first one of the season. But we have to settle for a field goal, but our defense needs to come up big here. We have him on a third and ten, two straight plays of no gain. Alex Smith in the backfield alongside Char uh, Jamal Charles. 
Smith looks, and he has an open Dexter McCluster on the out route for the first down 13-yard reception for the Kansas City Chiefs. Next play on a first and 10 from the 43-yard line. Alex Smith drops back, and he has another open receiver in Braylon Edwards, who I guess they just signed this preseason for a 14-yard reception first down Chiefs. Another shotgun formation. Second and 11 from the 45. There's going to be a screen pass to Jamal Charles, and it's it's trouble when he gets the football as he shakes off the best linebacker for the Jaguars. That was Paul Puzlesny with a missed tackle. First down, 21-yard reception for Jamal Charles. Second and four here. Another shotgun formation. Brings a tight end in motion from the 18-yard line. Alex Smith looks and absolutely just confuses the defense with all the crossing routes. Touchdown to Dexter McCluster. 7-3 lead for the Chiefs. Now it's the Jacksonville Jaguars football in the third and 14. Big play here. Play action pass. He looks a wide open. Harbor the tight end, but he gets popped and drops the football. So a three and out for the Jacksonville Jaguars and turns the football right back over to the Kansas City Chiefs. First and 10. Alex Smith looks, has all the time in the world. He has a wide open Anthony Fasano for the first down. Had all the time in the world and he found a uh, crease there for the zone and got a big play. Hand off here to Jamal Charles. Nobody stopping him. First down. Looks like our defense has given up a lot of big plays here. Third and four here. We can hold him to a field goal. And that would be huge to give it a one possession game. Alex Smith looks. Third and four. And he has a wide open Dexter McCluster on another out route. So another touchdown. Second touchdown of the day for Dexter McCluster. And that's pretty good. He's on pace for eight touchdowns. The first play of the game. First uh, quarter of the game. But here Kendall Hunter gets a nice first down on a big third and one. We did not want to turn the ball over again. Have the chance to go down by four. I'm about three possessions. Graham Harrell on a second and three. Nobody expected the read option from Graham Harrell. Graham Harrell is slow as can be. Nobody expected it. We get a big first down there. First and ten. Offset pistol. Hand off to Kendall Hunter. He crosses across the field once again. Another first down for Kendall Hunter. He has 34 yards on the game. Third and inches here. We're going to hand it off to Hunter up the middle again. And he gets stopped barely. Barely. Gets inches. He got like five inches, and that was enough for the first. First and ten here out of the I formation. Graham Harrell play action pass. He looks. He has an open receiver. That's Justin Blackman. First get today is going to be a touchdown. So it's now going to be a four point lead for the Jacksonville. Well, actually for the Kansas City Chiefs. But we we cut it to a four point lead. Uh, it's going to be a big big drive here for our defense on a second and twelve. Uh, empty set here for Alex Smith, and he sees a wide open Dexter McCluster. He's popped by Paul Puzlesny, but he actually gets injured here, but he still hung on. That's a tough guy there, and Dexter McCluster's having a big game so far. Second and five here, another empty formation for Alex Smith. He looks, and he has a wide open Dwayne Bow on another crossing route. The crossing routes are really hurting our zone defense right now. Our defense has not been able to stop the Chiefs so far, really. Third and eight here. This would be a big stop. They're already in field goal range, but from the 36, third and eight, Alex Smith looks over the middle, and it's dropped by Dan Przinski, but that still is a turnover. Well, not a turnover, but they, they settled for the field goal there, so it's now 17-10. We're in between one possession now. So great pass there to Justin Blackman. Uh, Graham Harrell just seamed that in there between the cover two, and it's a first down. So second and 10 here from the 48-yard line. About a minute left to go in the half. Graham Harrell looks... Looks, and over the middle, he has A. Sanders for the first down. A. a Sanders is really, really uh, playing well with those little crossing routes over the middle. Get some yards after the catch. But here we're setting up a halfback screen to Kendall Hunter. Nobody in front of him. Kendall Hunter catches his blocks and gets a nice 12 yards for the first down. We're now in field goal range. They're trying to tie the game before the half. Third and three from the 22-yard line with about 28 seconds left to go. Graham Harrell, another first down over the middle to Ace Sanders. He's becoming a big threat today. He was hurt in that play, but he will return soon. First and 10 from the 15-yard line. Offset shotgun over the middle. Touchdown to the tight end, Reschner. That gives us a tied game. Great throw there from Graham Harrell as he spikes the ball into the goal post. But that'll be halftime, guys. It's tied up 17-17. Hope you're ready for the second half. And here we go, guys. Start of the second half. We did receive to start of the game, so we have to kick the football off to the Chiefs. But our defense can step up here, give us a chance to take the lead if we can get a stop here. Jamal Charles with the return brings it back to about the 23, 24 yard line. Actually, the 22 yard line. First and 10 here. Under center is Alex Smith with Jamal Charles in the backfield. Hands it off, off a draw play, and Jamal Charles is just gone, just rumbling his way for about a 15 yard carry. He has 
he just now hit the half century mark at the start of the third quarter. Second and five for Alex Smith. Over the middle, he has an open Braylon Edwards. He was popped once again from Dan Przyski, but it was a first down. And here we go. Third down and six would be a huge stop for our defense from about the 40-yard line. Jamal Charles offset in the shotgun. Alex Smith looks, looks, and he has a wide open Dexter McCluster who is having an absolutely huge game. Already 84 yards in the game with two touchdown receptions. Third and two. Another chance for our defense to make a big stop. We have to stop him on third downs. And Jamal Charles to the outside, wiggling through, and a defense cannot get off the field on third downs. But we do get two huge stops there. Certain goal from the 40-yard line. Can we finally stop them on third down? Jamal Charles in motion. We don't know what's going to happen there. Crossing routes all over the middle of the field and wide open is Dwayne Bowe. An absolutely beautiful play call from the Chiefs' offensive coordinator. And they take the 24-17 lead. Third and three here. We've got to get a huge first down here. Nobody is open. Graham Harrell outside, locked it up, and he just bratted it down. So it's going to be a three and out for the Jacksonville Jaguars defense, or offense there. So we turn it back over to the Chiefs. This will be a huge, huge drive for our defense. But first play, a wide open Donnie Avery, and he's not getting brought down until he hits the 20-yard line. That's his first reception for 37 yards on the game. It will be a huge play here, third and six. We need to hold him to a field goal. We have to hold him to a field goal with only a quarter left to go. From the 19-yard line, Alex Smith looks over the middle, and he is popped. But he hangs on to the football. That's two big catches in this drive from Donnie Avery. Third and eight, another chance to get off the field on third and, on third down. Third and long, pretty much. From the 8-yard line, Alex Smith out of the shotgun, and he looks over the middle, and he's popped. That was Donnie Avery once again, but Dan Pruszynski with the big hit knocks it loose. So they kick a field goal, and it's now a 10-point game. Third and 11, a huge play here, and there's a wide open harbor. For the first down, a huge play for Cecil Harbor, and that would have been a very, very uh, sad drive there if we'd have gone three, three and out once again. But now it's a third and 18. Nobody open. Oh, there is a guy. A beautiful pass from Graham Harrell, the wide receiver and quarterback. We're on the same page through an out route once he got to the outside and got some room for the first down on a big third and 18 conversion. Third and six here, another third down. Can we keep, uh, keep converting third downs? Graham Harrell to the outside, looking, looking. Over the middle, and that is Reshner, but he drops. That would have been another great play. There's been two pretty big plays from Graham Harrell today on the scramble, and two huge drops by the same guy. So here we go, third and ten. We had to settle for a field goal. Down by a touchdown. Can we get off the field here? Be a big play. And a lob pass. That was to Donnie Avery with the drop. So we do get the football right back. But what, what do you know? Once again, it's been a game of third downs. So the third and three handed off to Kendall Hunter, and he gets four. A big play there from a newly acquired running back. What do you know? Another third down, third and five, another huge play. As we look over the middle of the field, that's an open Cecil Shorts, of the second-year receiver with the first down. That's 66 yards on the game for him. We have Graham Harrell Audubon here pulling his best Peyton Manning impersonation on a first and 10. That's actually the next play. 28-yard line, about five minutes left to go. He throws it to Cecil Harbour, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. So just like that's a tied game, a beautiful audible from Graham Harrell as he uh, had the little space there in the zone, and they tied the game 27-27. So our Jags are right in it. Even with all the moves, we're able to compete with the best of the best in the NFL. About three minutes left to go. A huge stop here would give us a chance to take the lead. And for some reason, Alex Smith threw it short, and he is absolutely popped by Blackman. So just like that, they have to punt the football when you have a chance to down the field and win the game. Second and four here. Graham Harrell once again absolutely shocks the defense on a read option. He's not getting brought down until he gets into plush territory. But, you know, after a big play, it is third and 11 from the 42-yard line right after the two-minute warning. Graham Harrell making some audibles. He's looking, looking, throws it. And what a beautiful play from Cecil Harper. Graham Harrell threw it on the run. Cecil Harper made a great move after he caught the ball, completely uh, went right upfield. And we took, uh, we got a first down there. Third and 17, though. This would be another huge first down conversion. He throws it in a big, big drop there from the Kansas City Chiefs linebacker as we get a chance to kick a long field goal for the lead. 53-yarder from Josh Scoby. Is it going to be good? Looks like it has a leg and barely gets through as the Jacksonville Jaguars take a 30-27 to lead over the Kansas City Chiefs. A minute left to go with second and nine from the Chiefs. They're trying to go down the field and at least tie the game, put it in the overtime. Alice Smith over the middle to Dexter McCluster, who's been having a huge game. He might have eclipsed 100 yards there for the first down. 
second and 10, they got about 30 yards so they get in field goal range, and they can very easily do that with 50 seconds left in the game with two timeouts. Alex Smith looks, throws it up in the triple cover, and it is picked off by no other than Dan Prozinski. And it's going to be Jacksonville Jaguar football. We need one first down to win the game. So we have about 43 seconds left. There's a big turnover there. And this last play, we need a first down. If we can get it, we can call a knee and win the game. Hands it off to Kendall Hunter, and what do you know? He's going to go all the way to the 14-yard line or 13-yard line. But regardless, we get to need the football, and we win the game. We are now 1-0 in the season. People thought we were going to take the season with all the, the changes that we did. We traded Mercedes Lewis, Maurice Jones-Drew. Traded Chad Henney and Blaine Gabbard and some more players. Our backup running back we traded even. Got enough draft picks, but you know what? We're not tanking this season. Graham Harrell looked like it to be a huge accusation as he threw three touchdown passes and no interceptions. And here you'll see the official game stats. And we played pretty good on both sides of the football, I believe. We gave up some pretty big plays early on, but our defense came ready to play. Only gave up 10 points in the second half. And we did just enough to win the football game. We, we weren't that great on third downs defensively, but on the flip side, we were good offensively. As you see, Graham Harrell, people thought we were tanking the season when we signed him, but he looks like a good guy to lead the game, lead the, lead the Jaguars offense as he threw three touchdowns and no interceptions. But looks like, man, if we, we don't have to tank the season because you know what? We have other teams that have the chance to do that for us as we have two or three other draft picks. I, could, I wish I could remember how many we have, but that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed as here you see the rest of the official stats on the game. As you see, Paul Pazluzny. Had nine tackles. It's going to be a struggle to learn how to say his name. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, hope you're excited for the rest of this Jacksonville Jaguars franchise series. And let me know if you are in the comment section below. And let me know if you enjoyed it. And next week, be sure to tune in as we take on the Oakland Raiders. Until then, guys, roll tide. Go Sox. And go Titans to you. Hopefully, you can start out the season 2-0 and over a struggling Raiders team. Until next time, guys, have a great week. Peace.